So how many of you guys are aware that there are at least 10 haunted places nearby where we all live? Any of you? Okay. So uh, this haunted place is called Black Star Canyon. It's on Santiago Canyon Road in Santa Ana. It is, uh, it's been there since about 1800s. It started with uh, an Indian tribe that went there in 1831. Um, they went there because they were trying to avoid grizzly bears. There used to be grizzly bears in our area. And um, they wanted to get acorns because it was full of acorns and they wanted to eat. And um, they were attacked by Spanish conquistadors because they were stealing their horses. So there was a huge massacre of the Indians. So now, it's supposedly, whenever you go in, they, you can hear Indian tribes with, on horses and spirits and whatnot. It is a private property, so you're not allowed to enter. Um, it's supposedly that there is a KKK clan in there. So, go ahead. Um, so when you're in there, there's no help that will come to you. If you there's no uh, cell phone service either. So if you try to call for help, no one's going to come. Go ahead. Um, this is the entrance. When you first come in, when you about a mile down, when you turn to the right, there's a big white cross with an abandoned church, and that's where your Ku Klux Klan gatherings happen. Um, go ahead. This is the creek where you hear sacrifices going on and other such hearings that people say. Um, this also leads to a waterfall where there was an abandoned mine. Well, there is an abandoned mine. Um, it's called Black Star Canyon because there was black coal found there um, in 1878. The founder was the founder of Irvine also. His name's Mr. Irvine. So, um, <laughs> the coal was very poor though, the quality, so he sold, it to, he sold it to a railroad company and then it became abandoned. And so now there's supposedly a, a guy by Black Star Bill that goes into the coal mine, the vein coal, and he's homeless, so whenever he sees trespassers come out, he'll come shooting at you with rifles. Go ahead. And this is a abandoned tractor that was there for nobody knows why, and it's supposedly haunted as well, so it'll move on its own. Go ahead. This is an overturned bus that was uh, from the 70s. It's wood underneath. It's been there for at least 40 years. Uh, the story is that there was a bus full of children going on a field trip, and it was a rainy day. They hit a soft part on the road, and so it overturned and it killed everyone. So when people go past by the bus, you can hear little children screaming, and you can see them trying to get away from the bus, supposedly. Go ahead. Um, and people do live there. So when uh, this is their little town, uh, there's trailers, there's people walking around. They really don't like people. So when they do see people coming in, they're going to chase you away. There was a story about a couple teenagers that tried to go in, you know, uh, delinquents, and there was two trucks waiting for them at the end of the road, and they chased them all the way back up and with shooting rifles. So go ahead. Um, this is a hollow tree. Um, I don't know why it's there, but it's there. Go ahead. And these are some of the signs with the shootings, the bullet holes on them. Um, there's a story about two girls and two and their boyfriends who came into the Black Star Canyon, and um, supposedly there's gang gatherings there as well as the KKK. So the gang brutally raped the two girls and then severely beat the two boyfriends, and that was in OC Weekly. Go ahead. Okay. And so in Black Star Canyon, which is about 11 miles from here, I believe, uh, supposedly haunted, and if you guys ever want to actually go there and let us know what you see or hear, and then you can all know if it's true or not. Okay.
All right, well, let's talk about the visual and the paralinguistic factors first. Uh, you, you worked out where you were going to stand while you spoke. Uh, you did a pretty good job facing the audience. You turned to refer to the pictures at appropriate times, but you didn't stay focused on that. You usually turned back and spoke to the audience. So that's satisfactory. You have a few gestures that you're using uh, while you're speaking. There are a couple of descriptive gestures. Uh, you look animated while you're talking. And your voice, I think you've got good variety in your voice. Um, you, you seem to project pretty well, uh, so it's not uninteresting to listen to uh, based on the paralinguistic cues. Now the problem is the content of the speech. There's no structure. This is a, this is a perfect example of a narrated slideshow because it's you know, next, 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 and we look at a bunch of slides and you make a reference to something in the slide at that particular point. There's no plot or plan other than the pictures in the uh, presentation. Now you have a couple of stories that you make reference to and uh, I'm not exactly sure where the stories come from because th it always seems to start with, well, there's a story. There's a story about these two girls. There's a story about these two guys. There's a story about this one guy. And I don't know where the stories came from, whether they are things that you heard from people who have been to Black Star Canyon, whether somebody has written about this uh, supposedly haunted place, whether or not somebody interviewed the guys, the people who live there. Um, and I think that uh, it's a little bit problematic. You need you need a stronger structure. I wasn't even sure that the topic was Black Star Canyon because you started off asking about haunted places, and then I thought Black Star Canyon was going to be one of the haunted places that you were talking about. But it turns out that it's the only thing you're talking about. So you need a clear thesis statement too. So the organizational stuff is problematic. You don't seem to have a problem talking to the audience and uh, engaging us, but you do have issues here with developing thing the speech because like I said it's just really a slideshow with some narration that goes along with it all right thank you